On 13 News Now, the Navy's top admiral says the matter is still under investigation. We're talking about the USS Fitzgerald crash that claimed the lives of seven sailors. Admiral John Richardson told our Mike Gooding it is too early to talk about the probe, but when time comes, the Navy will be transparent. Mike. Well, that's right, Regina. We caught up with the Chief of Naval Operations on Saturday at the Ford Commission. Commissioning Admiral Richardson's visit came one day after some national media outlets reported that the Fitzgerald was likely at fault in the collision. CNN and Reuters, citing anonymous sources, reported Friday that the USS Fitzgerald was at fault in the deadly June 17th collision with a Philippine cargo ship. The sources said that a loss of situational awareness was a primary factor in the accident. The Navy, officially for the record, declined to go that far in a statement saying it is premature to speculate on causation or any other issues. The Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral John Richardson, was equally cautious about the subject when I caught up with him Saturday. You got anything for me on Fitzgerald? Uh, no, I'm still doing the investigation, okay, fine, so, but fine. I'll tell you what, Mike, I will commit, you know, when we're done, okay. we're going to come out and, and, sure. and be completely open. The sources faulted the Fitzgerald crew, reportedly saying they did nothing until the last second. A slew of things went wrong. Former destroyer commanding officer Joe Bouchard was also critical of the Fitzgerald team's performance when we spoke to him earlier this month. It, it mystifies me why they weren't able to avoid uh, collision. Uh, their lookout should have seen it. Large merchant ship. Uh, merchant ships tend to have lights all over them. Uh, very large radar signature and the Fitzgerald is much more maneuverable. And ABC News reports today that Japanese authorities are almost finished with their investigation into the collision, but Japan still has not been given access to data from the U.S. side. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.